Do you know how that feeling where you just want to slow down? Where you just want to take everything in? Where you just want to just breathe and just allow everything just to go with the flow? That's what this camera does to you. <laughs> I don't know what they did with this thing, but it's designed in such a way it makes you want to just experience that moment with the camera. So this is Nikon ZF. Disclaimer, they loaned me this camera. I've been using it for the past week. There's no directive on what I need to say. There's no directive on what I need to do. I just need to go out there and just test the camera. Just play around with it and see exactly what there is. Now this, it puts you in that moment. This ZF with this vintage look, they hit the nail on the head with this thing. Honestly speaking, it's an absolutely brilliant camera. Even with this big lens attached to it, it's still a brilliant, brilliant camera. <laughs> there's not much, there's not a lot that I can say that is gonna change my mind regarding that. It's an absolutely brilliant camera. Let me put it out there. It's not a camera for, it's not that fast paced, high action, that type of, it's not that type of camera. It's one of those cameras where as soon as you pick it up, you want to take your time to capture a specific shot. You want to take your time to capture a sunset. You want to take your time to capture the ocean and, and those type of things. This is what that camera wants. It, it wants from you. It desires that from you. It's as if the camera is telling you, no dude, you, you can't be this high-paced content creator, whatever the case may be. You need to know, this is a camera for the connoisseur. If you understand what I mean. It's a, it's a camera for those guys. It's a 24 megapixel camera with the same camera sense, full frame sensor as that is currently on the Nikon Z8. So that just shows you the quality of the camera itself. I have to say the colors of this thing is spectacular. It basically, it draws its inspiration from your older cameras, like your 1970s, your 1980s, those type of cameras. The ZFC almost has a similar look. So the, Z so the ZFC is obviously comparable to the Nikon Z50. And this one is better than the Nikon Z6 II. It's a better camera. True, true. I've been, I own the Nikon Z6 II for three years. I have to say that this thing is better than the Nikon Z6 II. From a cost perspective, it's obviously it's a lot more expensive than the Nikon Z6 II now at the moment as well. Um, this thing coming in at about $2,000 at the moment. The Nikon Z6 II is about 1,800 around there. It's not a big difference, but there is a difference in price. The one thing that I would like, and if Nikon is actually is watching this video, if Nikon is continuously gonna come out with these vintage type cameras to f complete the look, your Z mount lenses, it's all these modernized lenses. I would just appreciate, and this is this is just a a guy that's just yeah, he's just dreaming. You understand what I mean? <laughs> but I would appreciate a full vintage finish with all of the internal mechanisms of the Z-mount lenses or of the camera that it currently is. So you have this vintage camera with all of the latest technology built into it. Give me a vintage looking lens that matches perfectly with this camera and this will be that collector's item. It, the reason that I'm saying that this thing will, it slows you down is with, we have all of the dials, so we're accustomed to a lot of the dial that is currently on all of the cameras. What they did with this is they flipped it completely around. So you have an exposure compensation dial that is here on the left, on the right hand side of the camera. Your shutter speed, which you adjust via a normal turn dial here at the top as well. Then you have your ISO, which is also a normal turn dial at the top here. With your other cam, with all of the other cameras, you obviously have these rolling dials where you just it forces you to stop, look down, and ensure that you have the proper ISO. You you enjoying that, and you don't want to do it hastily. It, it brings that feeling to the entire thing. That's what I'm saying. It's not a camera for someone that is. On the run, it's not for your run and gun shooters, it's, it's, it's not that type of camera. Your articulating display, it's nice and big. The one thing that you need to get comfortable with now again is your articulating display, not all of them has this click function. So this thing, you know, is, once it gets you to the top there, it stops there, but in order for you to close it properly, it has that click. So you hear that old type camera clicks. So those clicks that you're consistently hearing here in this camera, this is what makes it and bring about that emphasis of 
a vintage of a vintage camera specifications wise this camera is still top notch so it, it still has your XC7 processor that is built into the camera it has all of the autofocus functions of your Z8 to Z9 your eye camera your eye animal uh, bird all of those things those are all integrated into this thing 14 frames per second for high speed shooting as well 3.6 million dot OLED display your viewfinder at the top you can see it is a professional camera if you look at your previous your DSLRs as well as you said 8 to Z9 and so forth your professional cameras has the round rubber at the top whereas your semi-pro and your entry-level cameras it has that more of a rectangular feel that round look that round feel to it it just brings that yeah this is ha. this is it this is a this is a camera from a video perspective shoots 4k video in 60 frames per second your 4k 60 has still a crop factor similar to what your nikon c 6 twos have and stuff like that so it's still a 1.6 times crop in 4K 30 and 4K 25, fully full frame. Your 1080p, you can shoot at 120 frames per second, 60 frames per second. It has the capability of shooting in NTSC and in PAL mode. Pixel shift shooting as well, which, which means that your, your photos that you take can shoot up to 96 megapixel photos. This is a photographer's camera with all of the high-end video capabilities as well. This thing enhances the experience of manual focus as well because it gives you all of the autofocus points in manual focus as well it has your full touchscreen lcd display the one thing that i don't like though is that so it's a micro hdmi port that is currently on this camera where you tend to see a lot of the camera manufacturers or camera brands are moving more to a standard size hdmi to make it easier for people to just utilize any cable that they need i would have loved to have seen that they have a bigger HDMI port on the camera as well. It has all of your microphone inputs, it has your, your earphone jack. So it utilizes your USB-C connection in order for you to transfer all of your files and all of your data. The camera does have a dual SD card slots, right? However, the one is a standard SD, but the second one is a micro SD card slot. So once you open up the battery port at the top, you'll see here's a slot here which is your SD card and then right next to it there's a very small slot there where your micro SD card goes into so that's from a space saving perspective my final thoughts on this is it's designed for that slow approach towards photography to m make you experience the things that you are capturing rather than pushing you to get through and get things done I think that was the aim of the specific camera Nikon I say thank you very much once again this was truly an experience.